Well, here's everything all set up. Uh, this is Marcus with Aquarium Hacks by Marcus. So, uh, just to let you know, this is what my acrylic tank looks like. Uh, now that it's all set up, um, it looks actually absolutely uh, wonderful. Um, I have did some things that was a little different in this tank. Uh, such as I've got rid of a lot of the frog bit that was actually causing um, a lot of light not to penetrate through the top and I just what I did was over here I just put some suction cups and just got the frog bit in a little corner over here and that's the way I'm going to keep it with just a little corner and as they grow and get to be too many I can easily pluck them out sell them or do whatever uh, I changed my glass lids out to uh, polycarbonate um, lids so that more light could shine through um, and so I changed those out my glass lids now the kind of polycarbonate lids that I got are the waffle kind I would suggest that you get the kind that is flat um, I just like the look of the waffle kind it had 93% light uh, uh, emission will go through the top and so that's the reason why I got it but I would definitely suggest that you get the one that's flat and that way you keep more uh, not as much water will evaporate. It's no big deal to me because I've got a dehumidifier in here and and again this and it does actually prevent a lot of water from escaping anyway, but um, Just like I just show you here just on the sides of it. You see Just have it on, on the sides and so uh, that won't be too big of a deal in my case um, I did add the new beams work uh, Light for a four foot light on it uh, as you can see, it's nicely lit there. And like I said, I'm going to get into lightning uh, later on. Um, and I like and I like this light because it actually has its own timer on the side. And yes, mine's, mine's at least do work. I set it on eight hours. It shuts off uh, after eight hours. And then 24 hours later on, it turns back on when it's supposed to turn on. So I love that. But I just love the look of this 90-gallon tank here. It looks really, really, really great. And then we go over here to my 40 gallon tank. And uh, here's my 40 gallon tank. And uh, it is doing great as well. And believe it or not, I have actually added ghost shrimp to this tank. Now, the only reason why I added ghost shrimp to this tank because I got the ghost shrimp from a reliable source. I got the peaceful kind of ghost shrimp. Not the ones that can be aggressive or what they call the whisker shrimp. Uh, which we know is a very aggressive shrimp and can actually uh, catch and eat fish and definitely will decimate your red cherry shrimp uh, That's for, for sure, but I got these a few ghost shrimp along in here uh, with my other fish my emerald rasboras and my um, uh, Picnic quarries and my red cherry shrimp now. Hopefully I get the chance to uh, grow a lot of these peaceful uh, ghost shrimp that I got from a reliable source and hopefully I get a chance to breed some and Hopefully some of the babies will make it in here. Uh, but as, as of now, I have not seen any uh, problems uh, out of these uh, uh, ghost shrimp along with the fish and the red cherry shrimp. So in most cases, ghost shrimp are peaceful. But like I said, if you, there are some species, there's several species of ghost shrimp that are out there. And if you get the wrong kind, uh, you, you can be in a lot, your fish or your habits can be in a, in a lot, of, lot of trouble. So just be careful, make sure you get your ghost shrimp from a reliable source. And you should be okay okay so um that's my uh tank so i go back here with the 40 so that's my tank right here and here's the 90. really proud of them they both look really great and i can't wait to see what they develop into until then folks uh just keep on hacking